Good morning. It's uh, um, Tuesday morning. I'm just uh, wanted to kind of show off some of my coils that I built. This is a 48 turn Starship coil with a huge center. It's pretty heavy. And I uh, found out it's, it's uh, bigger is not better when it comes to making these coils. But it sure looks pretty. And uh, these guys have gotten the best results with these. So little Starship coils. Uh, 20 turn on this one and uh, after I got to making it I went ahead and put the uh, zip ties on it uh, then I polyurethaned it and uh, that's why it's you can't mess it up you can't really all the all the uh, the wires are nice and tight together. And uh, this is one I showed you last night. The way I built this one, though, I, I built it. You see how it's kind of shaped like a. almost like a. a saucer shape to it. I went ahead and built. built it. See how this goes in like a ball. Let me turn it over, it's like that. Well this one here kinda it's built like two of these on top of each other. It has the bowl shape to it, like putting two bowls together. I wanted to uh do that with this, but it got low on copper. As you can see this roll here. Uh used a lot of it up. This is my Ronin coil. I haven't really enjoyed this as much as I have my other coils. It's it's not what I thought it was going to do. And this here is just playing around. Some old uh, some old Ethernet wire that I got. Maybe another little Starship coil. Has a pretty big wall down the middle for the magnetic field. It pulses pretty good, but it's by filler. But uh I think that the gauge this is twenty twenty two gauge. Twenty two gauge is pretty pretty good stuff. But yeah that's my my coil collection here is all of them that I've done so far. I had another one, but I took it apart to build a, uh, <laughs> this is my old coil right here. It was the first Starship coil I ever built. I took it down, made this little pulse coil right here to drive an old magnetic motor. But, uh, just wanted to show these off. If anyone has any questions, let me know done a lot of experimenting over the past six months. Uh, a lot of useful parts out of TV monitors and computers. Uh, you, you can get rectifiers. All those rectifiers are from out of old. Uh, DVD players, vacuum cleaners, things like that. My whole effect collection. But, um, it's it's good recycling things. You can get a lot of good parts just out of uh, old TVs and stuff. This uh, this came out of an old Sony television set. And this is one heck of a transistor right here. Don't know if I can get this thing to focus. C five four four nine. It's an NPN transistor, and I had it hooked up yesterday. It works really good. I looked it up online. I think it said it's a hundred volt max input, which 
If you're uh, trying to get something to spin as fast as I want it to, that's a good thing. I kept... Uh, if you watch Sky Collections channel, he uses these tip, tip 107s in a lot of his videos. And he uses the 510 MOSFET. I have, uh, I've yet to try this other than just on a LED light, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting some more motors going again so I can show them to you. As you can see, I got my VCR, VCR rotors. <laughs> Already got holes drilled in them. Ready to go. You see how easily that spins. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll uh, be posting more videos ever since I got my camera phone. It's been a lot easier to do that. So, <laughs> you guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching.